When many people think about a McDonald's Happy Meal, it often conjures up great memories with a cardboard container and a fun toy inside. However, there have been some times when that hasn't happened. In today's video, we'll have a closer look at some of the worst Happy Meal toys of all time. This particular toy is really sad. It's a glove puppet which was basically a plastic bag with either Ronald McDonald or one of his mascot friends on it. This is one of the earlier toys that they had and they usually handed it out when they ran out of other toys. McDonald's really didn't spend much effort on this toy and it shows. Kids hated this one so bad that they wouldn't even use this to pick up dog poop in their own backyard. It always left them disappointed and wondering where the real toy was. Posters were certainly a big item to have in the 80s and kids were putting all kinds on their walls. So when McDonald's decided to give away E.T. posters in 1982, kids everywhere were excited. The only problem with the poster was that it actually came inside the Happy Meals. This meant that they were folded and they would have creases when you hung them on the wall. No one really wanted that, but even worse was all the grease from the french fries that soaked into the poster. All of that made the poster a little bit lackluster. For some reason, McDonald's decided to give away posters again in 1985, which made no sense at all. Apparently, they just had a lot left over. There are few mascots as recognized or as famous as Ronald McDonald, and he has been the McDonald's mascot since 1963. The company no longer uses him because of the national scare that happened in the United States with clowns. But there was a time when he appeared everywhere, including many of the toys. The Ronald McDonald mask is one of them. This mask may have given kids nightmares, and as terrible as that is, it's not the worst part about this toy. It was made out of cheap cardboard, and of course it would soak up all the grease from the food, so it was really a horrible toy. It's difficult to imagine now, but there was a time when MP3 players were all the rage. Kids didn't have iPhones, and they wanted to have MP3 players. In 2007, McDonald's handed out MP3 players in Happy Meals. This may sound great, but it wasn't. They were actually American Idol MP3 players, and they didn't play their favorite songs. They only played the American Idol theme song over and over and over. Kids didn't like it, and parents hated it. It's certainly one of the worst toys that they have ever given out. The Clone Wars figures are perhaps the best example of a movie tie-in gone horribly wrong. The action figures feature the heads of Star Wars characters on the bodies of Star Wars battleships. McDonald's has included these figurines on multiple occasions, but they really look strange. It would have been much better if everything was proportionate instead of looking like something out of space balls. Popoids was a McDonald's toy in 1984 and it came in four versions, each with two bendable plastic tubes and a single connector. Since it was impossible to build anything interesting with just three pieces, parents were forced to keep going back and buying more. By the time kids could get enough pieces to make anything interesting, McDonald's moved on to new toys. In 2008, McDonald's and Madame Alexander decided to partner together for a new line of Happy Meal toys. For some unknown reason, they thought it was a good time to come out with some based on the Wizard of Oz. Why they did that, no one really knows. It's not like the Wizard of Oz suddenly became popular or relevant. Many kids at the time had no idea what it was. Heck, even the adults had to really think about these dolls. They were not really well depicted, and I'm sure some of them gave kids nightmares with their chicken McNuggets. In 2011, some Swedish chain franchises handed out some temporary tattoos with poor taste. These tattoos had swastikas on them, and they were included in every kid's meal. Parents were outraged that no one at McDonald's noticed this. The chain finally chalked up to the error by saying it was the fault of the Chinese company that made them. Needless to say, these were immediately removed. No one wants a supersize on that order. 
Michael Jordan is arguably one of the greatest basketball players of all time. In the 90s, McDonald's tried to capitalize on his popularity by offering the Michael Jordan Fitness Fun Challenge Happy Meal Collection. They handed out small baseballs, footballs, and basketballs, which deflated easily. They also had a jump rope, which was too small for most kids to use. However, they did offer a frisbee with a Michael Jordan sticker on it, and most kids just took the sticker off and didn't care about any of the toys. Parents felt that their kids were shortchanged on this toy once again. The game of hockey has increased in popularity within the U.S. thanks to Wayne Gretzky and the Mighty Ducks franchise. There were two movies, an animated show, as well as a whole host of merchandise. McDonald's also became part of that Mighty Duck craze in 1996. McDonald's offered hockey pucks that came with a figure on top. McDonald's advertised that you could actually play hockey with these, which you could, but if you did one shot or a pass, it would destroy the figure on top. These were duck pucky. McDonald's at one time offered the McDonaldland Airport toys in Happy Meals. These miniature planes came in different colors, but they were made out of plastic and didn't have one movable part. It's a great example of how horrible toys can be when they have a McDonald's theme. I'm sure they were cheap and they certainly looked like it. This is one toy that never flew with kids. In the 1990s, McDonald's released the Camp McDonaldland Camp Gear. The concept seemed great, but the collection consisted of a small canteen that wouldn't hold much water, small plastic utensils, a cup, and a plastic frying pan. The only thing this Camp McDonald Land gear was good for is if you went to Make Believe Land. It was impossible for actual activities outdoors. Overall, it left kids disappointed. One of the things that kids look forward to most at McDonald's are the toys that come in the Happy Meals. When they don't get one, it's probably a sure bet that the kid will be disappointed. A great example of a horrible toy replacement is something from the Bedtime Collection. Somehow, McDonald's thought kids would love getting toothpaste and a toothbrush, a rinsing cup, wash mitt, or a glow-in-the-dark figure. Needless to say, these Happy Meal toys fell flat in 1983, and if they came out today, they would have the same outcome. They want a Happy Meal, not a hygiene meal. Ronald McDonald's sunglasses came complete with the mascot on top of them. It might have been cool to try on once, but there's no way these kids were going to keep wearing this shady gift. If they did, I'm sure that their friends would make fun of them. When Sky Dancers launched during the 1994 holiday season, they flew to the top of every little girl's Christmas list. They were part doll and part aerial missile. The Sky Dancers would launch into the air and twirl around like helicopters before falling back down to Earth. McDonald's was a little late when they decided to offer these in 1997. Not only that, but they left tons of little girls disappointed when they found out that these Sky Dancers wouldn't fly. They would only spin aggressively on the ground. Soon these twirled their way right into the trash can. When McDonald's placed a sponge tickle feather in Happy Meals, it certainly raised a few eyebrows. It looked like a feather, but it was actually quite heavy in the hand, and it had to say that it was a tickle feather on the side. This was really a lame toy, and it came across as inappropriate for kids. It definitely puts a new spin on Happy Meal. McDonald's Happy Meals have been well known for handing out fun little toys inside containers but they have also handed out many books as well. One of the worst ones they could ever hand out was a nutritional book. There were four books and they were aimed at showing kids how to eat healthier. So pretty much the opposite of going to McDonald's. No one ever goes there to eat healthy, they just want fat and flavor. In 2016, McDonald's once again tried to fool consumers by promoting healthy lifestyles. They handed out fitness trackers in Happy Meals across Canada and the U.S. These trackers looked appealing to children with their neon wristbands and easy-to-navigate controls. These trackers ended up being recalled after they caused skin irritations. 
Apparently, whoever chose these toys made a rash decision. In 2004, McDonald's decided to offer a Happy Meal aimed primarily at health-conscious adults. It was called the Go Active Happy Meal. The box included a water, a salad, and a booklet of exercises. In place of the toy was a stepometer which counted your steps. As we all said earlier, people just don't care about eating healthy or exercising when they visit McDonald's. Don't count on these ever coming back. They've stepped off into the trash dump. Overall, McDonald's does a pretty good job at handing out Happy Meal toys. But these toys are certainly disappointing and some are just plain creepy. Can you think of any other Happy Meal toys that were just terrible? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.